Hey guys, it's Katie and welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to be bringing you my TBR for May. So this is going to seem like a massive TBR, however I thought this time I would just make it a little bit like more random by picking random books. Um, so I'm not actually like picking the books per se and also I wanted to attack my currently reading pile. So in the middle of my TBR cart just here, this shelf. I had books that I was in the middle of reading or that I started that I was a few chapters in, basically any books that I was more than one chapter in and I kept those there and I went through them all and ones that I could still remember the storyline of I've kept, a couple I did have to put back. So yeah and I've got a couple of books that I do want to read as well on my TBR so it's a mixture but I'll let you know as I go. So here we have I've got my clipboard here which is where my latest pages go of books that I'm on. So as you can see I have a total of 1468 young adult books and the rest of them are in here in my wire books folder and as you can see contents is here, the pages obviously go up here. I'm very organised like Monica Friends organised, they are all listed here. I have so many books I've collected throughout the years as you can see some are scribbled out because I read them and so I thought it would be a good idea to use random.org and as you can see random.org I've put in 1 to 1468 and that way I will generate a result and then that is a book that I'm going to put on my May TBR so here we are and I'm going to select generate and it's given me the number 546. So I'll now go into the folder of finding 546. So it shouldn't be too hard to find. It's on this next page here, 546. And the book is Archangel's Concert by Nalini Singh. My goodness, I've had this book for ages. So this is really good. 546 Archangel's Concert Nalini Singh so I will dig that out of my garage so first of all the random number generator you saw that Archangel's Consort came out by Nalini Singh this I believe is either like the third book in the series so I will be reading the first so I'll place a picture over here it's currently in my garage at the moment but I will be fishing that out as soon as okay people next on the agenda is the unwrapped book so here I've got my spinny app. As you can see it goes from numbers 1 to 8 as they are all numbered 1 to 8. So I'm going to spin it for you and it's landed on number 8. So I will now pick out book number 8 for you. So next of all we then have the unwrapped book to share with you and out came number 8. So I'm just going to unwrap that for you guys and I don't have any clue what these books are, I have to say this every time because I I wrap these up like this is just before the new year and yeah I, I don't have a clue what they are so really this is kind of like a live unboxing for you Ooh, okay okay Come to me, my pretty. <laughs> Here it comes. And there we go. This is the book. Okay, Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. I have owned this for quite a few years, actually, so it's good that this has come out. So, I know this is about two strangers at cross paths, and yeah. I look forward to giving this a read, actually. I'm really, really intrigued about this, so Will Grayson, Will Grayson is my unwrapped book for the month. Okay, next on a random picking gender is the 2019 Booktube Top Books jar. As you can see, got my little scoop and my Harry Potter hat. <laughs> and I'm just gonna unscrew, take my little fox out and I'm gonna give it a prod. Not that this is really doing much because this is very packed full. But 
I'm going to try and get the ones out from the side. But I'm going to reach my hand in and pull one out without getting my hand stuck, of course. And you get to see me pulling it out as well. So I've got one here. And the book is Finale by Stephanie Garber, which would mean that I would need to read the first book, which is Caraval. So Caraval is going to be the book from my recommendations jar, and I put that back in because that is a book that is in a series, and that way I can read and pick. Caravel by Stephanie Barber, which is really interesting because I'm actually quite intimidated by that book, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to think about it. I don't know if I'm ready for it either because it's such a popular book, but yeah, I'm hoping that I do really enjoy it. Then we've got 2019 recommendation, which out came at Caravel by Stephanie Garda. I'll place the picture over here because that is also in my garage as well, and I'll have to dig that out and I've also made that my Kit Kats Can Read book club book and that is called Read Like a Kit Kat. The Goodreads link to my book club is down below in the description if you'd like to go there and read Caraval along with me. Basically my book club is just sort of like if I'm reading a book and you've got it on your shelf and you'd like to read it with me it's kind of a chance for you to read books with me so I've put Caraval because I know it's quite a popular book and also it's come out so out of my tbr i've just chosen like this book i just think like this would be a good book to read with people so yeah so if you're up for reading caraval by stephanie garber with me then feel free to follow my book club and we'll be reading it for the whole entirety of may so i also have a 2020 tbr which are the books that are either side of the other books here and they are books that I have selected, um, like a mixture of like rereads, adult books, books that I want to read, and so on and so forth. And yeah, so I have selected and pushed forward two books that I didn't get around to reading last month. So the first book is Confess by Colleen Hoover. I still haven't got around to reading this, but she is an auto by author for me. I love her books that I've read by her so far. And this one I'm really, really intrigued by, so I look forward to reading that. And then the other book is a reread. It's a continuation of the House of Night series, and this is Untamed by Peter Cast and Kristen Cast. This is a vampire series, but I've really got an urge to reread this and continue on with the series because I just I love it so much and I just would like to continue on with it and then complete the series. So I'm currently reading City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. I am over the halfway mark now which has been really good and um, yeah I need to get this really completed but as I'm currently reading it and listening to it it should be done in the month of May and I'm also currently reading The Easy Part of Impossible by Sarah Tomp which is over here I'm a few chapters in that now um, so yeah so I'll have that read and completed in the month of May as well but I'm pushing that forward just because they're currently reads and then a book I've chosen for my old TBRs are basically my reaction videos to like old TBR videos and book hauls of books I haven't read I've put them into like crates in my garage and also they are on a bookshelf at the bottom of this little mini shelf and the book that I've pulled out for me to read in May is going to be Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare so that'll be after I finish the of Lost Souls I can then go on to this but I just want to keep be reading the Mortal Instruments and I want to try and make sure that I do put a Mortal Instruments book on my TBR every month so for May it's going to be Clockwork Princess and then for June it'll be like the, the next book so it'll probably be like one of the bind ups because they are next but I'm reading in publication order but yeah Clockwork Princess I'm very very excited I know it's going to break me um but yeah I've had really really good things and I love the infernal devices so off of my reread shelf I picked up a couple of books I would like to continue on with the series because I'm in the middle of so many series and I read in my list and I'm just like oh my goodness like this is crazy so I'm currently reading this series as uh, as you know, um, it's the Making Out series by Catherine Applegate. So this is the fifth book. This is Claire Gets Caught. These are really, really short books. They're really, really fun, and they help me sort of get out of slumps and that. So I'll use this as a like in between sort of book, or like when I want to get around to reading it. And the other one I have a massive urge to reread is The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa. So this is the first book that's in the Blood of Eden series, and I own all the books, and I've got like third book syndrome where I just, I just don't read 
from three books onwards if it's a trilogy I just don't want it to end so yeah I need to start this again this is another vampire series but I loved the first two books in this like they are so awesome they're so good like probably one of the best vampire book series that I've ever read and then a couple of books that I want to read and want to push forward onto May first of which is the Tower Hill Terror by Dane Cobain I've already had Dane Cobain here on booktube so this is equal to the first book which is called Driven which I really really enjoyed actually and um yeah I'm actually looking forward to reading this um I'm really really enjoying like mystery thrillers they like they just always get me intrigued and I really really like the characters of Lightfold and Miley so yeah they continue on with this as another mystery and yeah I'm looking forward to a good mystery just break in between and then also I'm pushing forward Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson this came out as my 2019 recommendations last month but I've got an urge to read it ever since it came out I was just like oh yeah I really really want to read that so I'm pushing that forward onto May as well I've got a review book that has come through from an author they messaged me on Goodreads and they were like oh I see you really really enjoyed After by Anna Todd and they were like saying that they've written a book that was very similar to that and I read the synopsis and I was like you know what? that sounds really cool I like things like that and um so yeah so I just said yeah I'll give that a read so I will be reading that in May and that's called Forever Burn by Trinity Lem so I put it over here um so yeah so I'm really looking forward to reading and reviewing that for the author I am um, yeah I'm I always always read synopsis of books and if they sound like something that I would read and um, then I'll I definitely like will put it on that month so now on to the little pile I'm just going to very very quickly show you the pile of books that I'm actually in the middle of reading that were on the little shelf so obviously the two books that I have mentioned to you City of Lost Souls and These are Part of Impossible they're the ones that I'm mainly currently reading but these are the books that I'm in the middle of first of which is Children of Blood and Bone by Tami Adeyemi I am actually like this far through so from where I am at the point of where it is is where I can remember where I am so that's like really cool and then I've got The Lost Girls of Camp Forevermore by Kim Fu I'm probably like a quarter through this, I would like to say, um, but I can remember where I am so far with that book. And then Torch Against the Night by Sparta here, I can still remember part of this and I'm near the halfway mark of this one, so I'd like to continue on with that one. Dangerous Alliance, I'm at a couple of chapters in this book, but I can remember everything that happened so far now and I did really enjoy it to be fair. Then I've got a darker shade of magic. I'm a few chapters in this. I still remember from that happened this because I started reading it a couple of months ago. And yeah, life just happened because of this virus thing and then I just put it down and because of the virus, to be honest, I wasn't really in the mood for anything like that. I just wanted like easy going, like happy chiclet or contemporary reads, like as you do. So speaking of chitlets, I've got If We're Not Married by 30 by Annabelle. I started reading this in February and I got a few chapters in. I started reading it on my holiday and then didn't really read much because I was basically on my holiday to be honest. So yeah, so I'd like to read more of that because um, yeah, chitlets are awesome. And then the other book is The Last Wish by Andrzej Sapkowski. This is the first book that's in the Witcher series. I am, um, I probably like caught through this as well. I haven't listened to the audiobook or read this in a while, so yeah, need to get cracking with that. And then I'm going to very, very quickly go over some ebooks that I've got for review from like a mixture of NetGalley and Odevoise. I've mentioned the um, Goodreads review book that I'll be reading, but these books. Um, I've put them in an order of like what I think sound like what I want to read sort of thing. So first one is Not Your Idol by I Makino. This is a graphic novel review book. Comes out on the 5th. Then I've got Swipe Right by Steffi Chapman. This I believe comes out on the 13th. These dates I'm getting from Goodreads by the way. And then I've got By the Book by Amanda Sallet. This comes out on the 12th. Storybound by Emily McKay comes out on the 5th. Parachutes by Kelly Yang comes out on the 26th. The Fascinators by Andrew Aliopoulos comes out on the 12th. The Betrothed by Kira Cass comes out on the 5th. Here Lie the Secrets by Emma Young comes out on the 14th. The Paper Girls of Paris by Jordan Taylor comes out on the 26th. Stay Gold by Toby McSmith comes out on the 26th. The Black Flamingo um, by Dean Atta. Um, it, comes out I think I think this is the one that like it sort of has come out like some places like last year but it's coming out this year again they released it this year on the 27th 
Felix Ever After by Case and Calendar on the 5th, Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo coming out the 5th, and then we've got a couple of sequels that are coming out, Just a Boy and a Girl and A Little Canoe by Sarah Monowski, this is a sequel to Icy London, Icy France, this is coming out on the 19th, and then there's The Archer at Dawn by Swati Tirahala, and this comes out on the 26th, and that's a sequel to The Tiger at Midnight. So that's why I left those two last, but the order that in which I read them to you are like the books that I just like kind of want to read in order. So basically I'm going to do exactly what I did in April and I'm going to be reading a book out of the physical list that I want to read and then I'll be going to this list of books that I would like to read um, from my ebooks in like that sort of order and I'll just like, go back and forth. So I will probably end up be reading two books at the same time, one being a review book, one being my own, kind of like what I'm doing at the moment. Um, so when I finish my current two books of like e-review and physical book, then I'll go like down the list sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I, I really like doing that and that way I'm getting my review books done and I'm getting them read. Fair few review books that I have there, um, obviously I will try and focus on those like more so. So that is going to be the end of my May TBR, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Like I say, it looks like there's a lot of books here, um, but realistically I'm just going to be picking and choosing from these, but mostly I'm going to try and focus on like the random ones, so like if it's a single one it'd be like the random generator book, the unwrapped book, the 2019 recommendation, the 2020 TBR, the old TBR, and possibly the rereads and then things like want to read um and i'll, I'll try and be i'll try and be attacking like the currently reading pile as well but really i just i would like to attack like these single ones because they're the main like draw that's come out like the random generator is sort of like a random book that i've got on my list and then the unwrap book you know one a month sort of thing so that i don't get behind my wrap books i've already am um, behind my unwrap books because i've got three books up there so yeah it is what it is thank you very much for watching my video as always all of my social media links are linked down below in the description if you'd like to follow me elsewhere but that's it for me guys keep smiling keep reading and be happy my name is katie and i'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video bye